Okay, so let's do this one at a time. So Viola tries to swim out there. Viola, you're going to make a strength check because in your robes, the water weighs you down by quite a bit. So let's see if you drown here as well. So you fail. So your options are you either need to lose your rope because it's weighing you down and you're obviously about to drown, or you can start to drown and maybe someone can pull you out by saving you with the you know a physical check or something. I'll lose the rope. Okay. I'm after that goodie bag. It's got that prison uniform in it. There you go. So Viola goes out there, starts to get weighed down by her robe, shirks it off. Uh, Costas, you can see that she is a 13 hotness, which is about 20 below everyone else on the planet, or here, <laughs> but is a, is very good given the standards of your group. And she starts to loot the body. Or the torso. Yeah, I just go up to the, to the fish and the body and just drag them out. I kind of just ignore what she's doing and I just drag everything to the shore. Okay, so you start pulling the fish towards the water. I'm going to say you do it easily. It's dead. The, yeah. the wake or whatever, not wake, um, the flow of the water is helping you. You pull it up. Mm -hmm. You open its mouth and inside is the mulched remains of the upper body of Flaminga. And uh, you also see a golden tail uh, sticking pretty far down his throat. Aha! We have the first part of our quest completed. Well done, my friends. I turn to them, <laughs> give them a big smile. <laughs> Too bad our friend got it's killed. It's just your process. one friend right now, by the <laughs> yeah. way. It's just me. Butch is out there <laughs> looking for a challenge. I, I say friends, and then I look around and I'm like, well, friend. I'm like, too bad we had a casualty in the way, but it's okay. I mean, this is for the greater good, so we must continue our quest. We have a journey to accomplish. Let's all gather up. Let's go get our friend Butch, the crazy guy that's running over there. Let's go. Who challenged me? Butch! Is he still on the boat? Butch! I don't think we're on a boat anymore. No, you guys are on the dock. Oh, okay. Yeah. I scream to Butch, Butch, Butch. Do I hear her? Yeah, sure. Okay, I turn. Little woman, little man, where is my challenger? It was the catfish. <sighs> I run towards her, him. The catfish is dead. I, uh, Upon arriving, I am sad to see my competitor dead, but I declare myself victorious. Yes. We succeeded. However, Flamingo is dead. No! <laughs> Butch falls to his knees and starts crying and pounding the ground in front of him. Ah, 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 buddy. Real men don't cry. Real men shed tears over death of friends. Friendship is everything. Who killed no, Flamingo? No, no. The, the fish. I pounce on, I jump on the fish and stomp its guts out. It's way too big for that. It's like four times the size of you. Oh, excellent. Then I can just jump up and down on it for like a 10 minutes yeah. or so. Oh, yeah. I just I jump up and down on it and I just pummel the crap out of the fish. Okay. I put my hand on the shoulder and I say, put your faith in the light, friend. Things will be okay. Let the light guide you. We are on a mission now. Focus on this. You will feel better. What is our so mission? Our mission is to free Spec Person the Third and then take his sword and then kill the dragon's knight. Yes, yes. With a really fancy name. Ah, Butch is sad. Well met, Butch. Well met. All right, so this goes on for some time, and then all of a sudden that, that yellow tail in the fish begins to glow, and just above it, in green letters, it says, DM would like you to focus on this. Yes. Then I'm like, guys, we have to bring back the fish, Spotty, so we can free spec person the third. Let's go. Come on, Butch. I grab the tail, hold it over my shoulder, and start, try and haul it down the dock. I you was haul hated. the tail out <laughs> of the fish, and with it, comes a pretty old, 10-year-old, very healthy and happy, yellow Labrador. And it makes kind of a, a, a birthing suction sound as it slops out of the fish's body. And it barks and kisses you on the face and is now oh. wagging its tail looking at you. We saved the puppy! Vicious dog! <laughs> I, I um, try and get rid of the vicious dog that has attacked me. 
I grab and, the dog and hold it away from him and keep it safe. And I was in denial, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys have the dog, and it's at this convenient and exact moment that the fisherman also says, well, it looks like you guys solved the crime of Segunda the Person the second scold retriever old dog that might have died to a fish in which his brother Spec Person the third was framed by himself for the murder of it. Looks like you have all the evidence. Now all you need to do is alert Segunda Person the second that he is no longer needing to uh, live this lie and then show the dog to the people at the warden and you should be well on your way to the mission. We do that. <laughs> 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 All right, All right. Dude, what she said. Yeah, he writes down, find, he like, the down, first death thing yet. Yes, I'm coming to that. Hang on. <laughs> he writes down the directions uh, to where Saguna Person the Second lives and hands it over to the one he thinks looks the most responsible, which is Viola. Thank you. Uh, and you'll notice it's beautifully written. It's almost uh, it's almost ornate. It's so well written. Um, but we'll dart away from that. Flaminga. You wake, you awake, you open your eyes, and you're in a smoky, hazy, what looks to be kind of a cavernous place. And in front of you, these big, big, white, pearly gates part open, and a man, in very strange clothing to you, but as we would know it, comes walking out in a silver, pinstriped suit. And he walks out, and he, and he folds his hands, and he looks down at you, and he's very, he looks kind of generic, just a, he looks like what we would think to be just a lawyer, just a generic lawyer. And he looks down, and he says, Flaminga? We've been expecting you uh, with that whole saving the puppies thing up there. Very nice. In which now you make a 2d6 roll. Oh my gosh. Oh, guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. And he says, Flaminga, you are home. Time for you to enter into the gates and uh, join the other bards that also tried to do idiotic things and died. Um, you will find that you are in good company and you shall enjoy your time here. May I have a puppy? Absolutely. You Thank get you. a puppy, you get a puppy, you get a puppy. And he's like backtracking. I take all the puppies. I love that yeah. you have a puppy right be night, like be behind you right now. It's lovely. I totally do. Look, there's my puppy. Hi, puppy. I saved you. And the doors slam shut and Flamingo's fate is sealed. Flamingo, you are the weakest link. Um, Goodbye. So now we go up to above ground and uh, you guys are, I'm just, you're on your boat. You're paddling in the direction. You guys are- Don't going. I roll a new character? Yeah, we'll do that in the break, honey, in just a couple of minutes. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> And you guys are heading towards Segunda Person the Second's houseboat. Mm -hmm. What do you do now? Segunda Person the Second. Are you there? You people are calling me, he says. Yes, we are. Come <laughs> over here. <laughs> he says, yes, you people are calling me. All right, I run towards him. I say, Mr. Second, we found your dog. You He's found the dog? Yes. And we want your brother to go free, and we're here to tell you the things that the DM told us to tell you. You're talking about my brother. <laughs> yes. You found my dog. Yes. And I show him the dog. You found my dog. And then I hold the dog, and I don't give it to him. You now know my dog is not dead. Yeah. You now know they dog is not dead. That's correct. You solved the mystery. Yes, we did. We solved mystery, <laughs> but we lose friend in process. Great friend well, has died. Your friend died? Great yep. friend died. Your friend is not the golden retriever. No. What is Golden Retriever? Our friend Flaminga. Our friend Mighty something. Bard, what, what, what does Flaminga do for us again? Bard. Music. Oh, Flaminga sing great song. Your friend plays music? Used to. Our friend Played. no more. 
Your yes. friend's dead. Our friend Correct. die saving dog. Your friend saved the dog. Our friend die in pro- I don't know. Butch confused. You're Butch, confused? Butch yes, I am confused. It is nice to meet you. <laughs> you're- You're happy to meet they? Oh, God. Butch just kind of blinks and stares. <laughs> I sigh. I I'm like, okay, everyone, we are on a mission here. No time to talk about Slaminga's death. What is done is done. Let's move forwards with what we have. And it is a golden retriever. You can save Spec Pass the Thin. Yes. You can. Yes. We're going to go do that now. Would You're you going like to go do that now? Would yes. you like to come with us? No. <laughs> No. You want no. me to come with you? No, 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 no. I say to Costas, <laughs> and I say, Why not? You hang tight, and we're going to go save your brother. And I. You're leaving I, my houseboat now. Yes, we are. Goodbye. And Goodbye. I. And I row. You and I get Costas to row, and we turn around and we row the fuck out of this frustrating situation. <laughs> <laughs> and I point Thank to you. Thank you, Viola. <laughs> you are truly you Butch's really greatest you. friend. <laughs> He comes to stands and says, you're now rowing your boat! <laughs> yes, I yeah. point to him and I say, put your fight in the light and all is possible! Butch you tries to give Viola a, uh, a nice big hug to thank her for getting him out of that situation. <laughs> uh, we you head have safe <laughs> travel, bro! Yes, thank you, second. Uh, we head to the fairy people. What are they called? <laughs> Fashion police? Yes. <laughs> Fashion police. <laughs> FPs. So yeah, you guys paddle back and uh Anna, do you need the break to, to do your character? Do you want to do it now and then we'll introduce it or uh if you guys want to keep playing a little bit, I'll I'll just make it now. Unless yeah, you wanna we started, we started not quite on the hour, so we have another like ten, fifteen minutes. Okay. I'll just be dead and work on it for a second. Okay. So you guys get to the beach, and uh, what do you do? You you beach just fine. Uh, we head to the jail to free. Okay. Spec person with our proof. The dog loves um, Butch, by the way. He, if he's not next to him, he's looking at him. He's kind of he barks like happily, you know, like looking for his attention. He even puts his head under his hand, which is pretty low to the. Well, he's five ten. He's normal height, I guess, but he's he's trying to. Bond with Butch. He sees something of kindred kinship with him. But you guys are you're making your <laughs> way there, right? Yes. Okay. You uh, get to the jail uneventfully. What do you do? Uh, I ask to go ahead. Oh no, you go. I was gonna say I asked Butch where he last saw Spec Person the Third. Lead us, friend. He's in jail, Cosmos. <laughs> yeah, but I'm like, is which the, direction lead us? <laughs> is the guard still outside? No. Is there like a, a, a help desk? There is a help desk, yes. Okay. It actually, it literally says, as Stephanie says, a help desk on it. It says okay. help. I approach the help <laughs> desk with the dog and I say, I am here to free respect the person. Whoa, that. whoa. You guys have an old retriever and the person comes out from behind the desk and comes and shakes the dog and is petting it and nestling it and says this is this is one of the this is this is perfect this thing it's look at its fur it's sheen it's beautiful he's like thumbing through its paws he actually cups its testicles and checks and says it's form it's fit it's thick it's strong and everything about this dog is is beautiful and it's just he's just staring down at the dog uh Excuse me, this is Spec Person, the third brother's dog. He's free. He should be free. This is proof. I'm sorry, what did you say? Uh, we found this dog, and you have a prisoner here. That is there you, because of the dog. You look like a person. You look like a person that needs help. And he, he kind of snaps to it, and he walks back around and sits at his desk and says, kind of sits there and looks at you, and he looks really hard. And he says, tell me one more time your problem. Um, 
My friend Step is in Man jail. Is jail. He has sword for us. We free him. We bring his dog as payment. Yeah, that. Hmm. So you want to? You Give need that something person to Butch. I push Butch back and I say, Butch, go get that apple. I get apple for team, and I and run out looking for an apple. And I go back to the desk. Says, I have a thousand what? coins, so I can use them to buy apples if I need. So you have a thousand gold. I was thousand twenty-two gold, technically speaking. Uh, Side note: I was almost an apple for this whole show. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. That's why it's the only thing I could think the of. The apple night. Um, <laughs> that was going to be amazing. <laughs> He looks at you, Viola, and some time passes. It actually goes on like one or two minutes. He just kind of keeps changing his posture, keeps looking, and he says, I'm thinking of a number. It's a number between one and a thousand, and this number, if spelled out, is the only number between one and one thousand that each of the letters for which it is spelled is in alphabetical order. If you can tell me this number, I will take the dog and uh, <laughs> prove, oh, we'll, we'll hear your story. I, uh, oh, I am, hold on. I'm going to do, I'm going to roll for this because I don't actually know it. You can do that, right? Sure. Like to certain realities? Sure. Let's do that. Okay. Is it my intelligence? Then? I think so. That makes okay. sense. I agree. Plus two. What if you fail this as well? Are you asking me? I'm just kind of oh, saying okay. it out loud. The rolls have been amazing. Okay, 10. That is a resounding success. But I will either tell you, uh, well, you just know the number. And yeah. I actually, truth be told, the story that I was told, I'm pretty sure it's actually number 44, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, no, it could be 44, because it has an F afterwards. Damn it, I can't. It's like 49. Nope, can't be 9 either. 48? Is it 48? Can't be 48. I, I can't remember. Anyways, you say the number. <laughs> and he says, yeah, I don't know. You guys will figure it out. Oh, it's 40? Is it 40? They said it's 40. Yeah, it's 40. Okay. okay. That's good. Just 40. All right, so you, you say 40. And he looks at you and says, you know, my mom who is very intelligent, told me that someday I will learn that sometimes you can find beauty in even the ugliest of things. And I, I thank you for this. This was a, a humbling moment. Not a lot of humbling, but some. Um, tell me your tale. What, what, why do we have this dog before us, this magnificent yellow beast? Are you familiar with your guest, or no, prisoner? They're not. Uh, Spec Please, person the third. We don't call him prisoner. Is it guest? Guess. Yes. yes. Are, do you know Spec person the third, your guest? Yes, a wretched human being. He's in here for murder. Correct. Of a golden uh, retriever. And this is actually the dog that supposedly he killed, but as you can see, it's alive. I can see that. My eyes are twenty twenty. Um, so, sorry. How do we? How do we get him out of here now that he's been acquitted? Well, we present this to. Uh, I'll have to go to the warden with this. I'll ask him, and uh, he just kind of he hits he hits a. a a button and it sets off a like a, a ring of chimes that you can see like just starts chiming out the door because there's one chime hits another chime hits another chime hits another chime so it's a chain reaction and then the door opens and that woman comes it comes through the door uh, that you guys recognize from earlier the beautiful strong and athletic woman that uh, easily boffed one of you I can't remember who it was and you come in um, I tell her the same thing in a really, uh, says, a really clear manner that does not cause her to ask me any questions, and she fully understands. She says, you know, I did, I, I spec person the third is guilty of many things, mostly dressing very poorly, except for when he's a guest here. Uh, but I did not think him to be a retriever killer. Those people are few and far between. We haven't seen the likes of him in 100 years. So I will happily release him to you. Just one minute, please. And she goes back. And she comes back some time later, and on her heels is Spec Person the Third, 
carrying a bundle of his armor and clothes, and he's still wearing the nighty. He says, Spec piss in the thed knew you would come through for him. I'm so happy. Thank you. Spec nice to meet you. Spec person the third. Spec person the third is nice to meet you as well. Spec person the third thinks uh, very highly of all of you. Very nice. Wait, wait, wait. Are you spec person the third? Spec person the third is me. I'm s spec person the third is spec person the, th the third. It's it goes round and round. Spec person the third is spec person the third is spec person the third. It goes on this way for a while. I look a little bit puzzled. I give. <laughs> I look at my friends and I'm like. <laughs> What's spec the person the third made a deal. Spec person the third holds up deal. Let's yes. come with spec person the third to get purity sword, yeah? Yes. I, I kind of just bend over to uh, Vi Viola and I'm like, is he spec person the third? Yes. <laughs> uh, <gasps> do we see Butch? Butch is purchasing an apple, presumably, somewhere. Okay. I, I grab Butch and we follow spec person the third to... We, we have a spec person sword. We will, Butch. We will Excellent. follow. All right. So spec person the third leads you guys not too far. Uh, it's kind of strange he lives this close to the jail, but he explains to you that he's in there for numerous fashion uh, wrongdoings on a pretty regular basis. So he considers himself an active guest. Um, and so in, in which case he moved his house closer to the jail so that he wouldn't have to spend as much time walking. You guys pull up to it, and there's an assortment of kind of, uh, well, his house is next to yet another tavern. A really nice place, but less hipster and more kind of, they like the the, uh, the rugged approach. Like, imagine kind of the fakeness of, like, California, uh, what's it called? The California part of Disneyland? Disney's California Adventure. California Adventure. So kind of that manufactured rugged feel is there. They're really going for that, and they, of course, hit the nail on the head. Um, and outside of that, sitting by their selves, is a warrior. And as you walk by, this warrior does what? Oh. Hi, ladies. I step, uh, I step out in front of Butch with my back to him and address uh, Viola. Oh, just I'm Viola. the only woman. <laughs> I just address Viola. <laughs> I, so I put my back to both the guys and say, Hi there, beautiful. My you, name's Hawk. You stay away from my friend. Shh, Hawk. It's okay, with an E. H-A-W-K-E, uh, -E, in case you were wondering. I am, uh, as you can see, uh, a fighter with an unblemished look. I have eager eyes and wild hair, tan skin and a built body. And, uh... As you can see, my weapons of choice as a fighter are my fists. And wouldn't you know it, they are uh, sharp. And so they have two plus two piercing. And uh, also serrated. Plus one damage. And I am, uh, of course, wearing some scale armor. All right. So, Roll for hotness. I forgot to mention that I did put the jail nighty back on after I got out of the lake. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be three d six. It's supposed to be three. Yeah, give another d six in there, Anna. One more d six. Fifteen. Uh, Fifteen. Oh my you are god. Very, very handsome. Uh, you know, let's just take a moment to consider that I have not once this entire time rolled over a six with two d sixes until I roll for hotness. Yeah. Well, this new character like is promising, Anna. <laughs> I guess. Like, well, well, well. Seems Nobody like, like pretty boy. Pretty boy, useless. Leans in to, uh, to Bush and says, Spec Piss in the Thed is speculating. He's very attractive. That one. Very attractive. Pretty boy, no nothing. I put my hand over, his, my over his mouth and I say, Butch, please. <laughs> like, I like this new guy. I think he should join our group. I don't even know why we have but I Who's this guy anyway, right? All right? Hey, let's. <laughs> Butch, he's fine. He's fine. Okay. What do you? What was your name? I'm sorry. I I debonairly take her hand and bring it slowly to my my mouth and look at her over over while I kiss her hand. And Make it charisma check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've never been more creeped out by in my life. <laughs> in your future. <laughs> okay, two d six plus my modifier. Eight. I'm gonna give you a one 
uh, plus one modifier because you're very, very handsome as well. But it's still, it's the same. It's a nine. So it's a success. You can either kiss her hand and look deeply in her eyes, and um, she will be, well, I can't make the choice, but uh, what will what, happen? I want to say you get gold out of this somehow, but you, you do this, and Spec Person the Third instantly thinks that you are the best person ever, because uh, you're so damn en en enigmatic and charming. Um, or you kiss her hand, and I'll let I'll let Viola choose how she reacts. It's your choice. <sighs> Stephanie, do you want the choice? No, <laughs> no, not a game. Well, you know what uh, I <laughs> No. Okay, I'll take I'll take spec person's admiration, and we'll just see what Stephanie does later. But um, I so I lean over and kiss her hand and say, "It's Hawk with an E." Gross. <laughs> but she's very. This is freaking dead. I think you'd be crazy not to take on this piss. The third. I fist bump spec person the third. He accepts it ravenously. So. <laughs> you, uh, he uh, opens the door and hurries. You expect this dead. Once you come in, expect this is dead. You guys come in. Yeah. 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 I want to stand on the sheets and challenge Hawk to a fight. <laughs> <laughs> you because Butch is threatened by his masculinity and attractiveness, <laughs> and thinks Viola is going to choose hit bu him over Butch. Oh no! All right. Because well, Butch harbors dark fantasies—not dark fantasies, but hidden <laughs> secrets of Viola. He's just too ashamed to admit it publicly. All right, well, let's take our second break and we'll see if the shop <laughs> is how it's handled inside Spec Person the Third's house. <laughs> <laughs>